It's David Rosen, and if I was the mayor, I'd revolutionize what we're doing with food here in New York City. So growing up in New York, my parents were divorced, and uh, this led to a couple of developments in my life. For one, my father was a real estate developer, but if you asked me what my father did, I would tell you he cooks dinner. And he would go to like four different supermarkets, maybe to get the fish, maybe to get the meat, maybe to get the vegetables, the produce, the seasonings, and, uh, and cooking dinner for him took two to three hours always. And he told me that a good New Yorker is somebody who knows which store to get each specialty product. My mother was a good cook too. My first job was when I was in junior high, I did an internship as a busboy in a restaurant that just closed during the pandemic called 205th. And I was a busboy in many restaurants growing up. And then I became a waiter finally in a restaurant in Midtown Manhattan. I had to lie on my resume to get that job. And being in the food industry, you really start appreciating shows like Top Chef and going to different other restaurants and trying everything. And New York City is a world-class food city. But what we've learned in the last 20 years is that they've got really good food in other places also, and we're not necessarily leading the pack. I wanna circle back to this thing that got canceled in 2017. Anthony Bourdain pulled the plug on his Pier 57 food court, which was gonna be a massive food court. Now we do have this great food court at the Time Out Market in Dumbo, but if I was mayor, I would build a massive food court maybe with 36 different cultures that represent the types of cultures and foods that we have here in New York City, um, all types of ethnic types of food and styles of cooking, um, and make that a school at the same time. And we could integrate students in our high schools, in our junior high schools, and even make a tourist component. Make this a destination location, not just to eat for locals and tourists, but also for people who work and live here to, to you know, be, participate in the economy. And not only that, you know, we have all these great farmers markets that come to the city every uh, week. We could uh, do really a hyper focus on farm to table uh, because being you know, con conservation minded is a key part of my administration. So we want to have food products that don't create a lot of waste and also are healthy for you, you know, relatively not processed, relatively low carb. Um, or good carbs, not so meat heavy. I mean, I eat meat, but we know that meat as a food item is not incredibly sustainable. We can't uh, really thrive if we just have hamburgers all day long. We wanna do so much with vegetables, and there's a real uh, panoply of vegetable types that we don't always ne necessarily have in our diets. Like before I met my wife, I never ate pea shoots, and they're yummy. There's so many nutritional solutions that are not present in most New Yorkers' daily cuisines right now. And with a focus on fine dining, but also regular everyday eating, we can revitalize the Big Apple's cuisine culture. Eating is something I think we are all passionate about. And have you ever gone to a dinner party where everyone cooked and had a bad time? No, everyone can get together around a good meal. So if I was mayor, we'd create Anthony Bourdain's food court a world-class school and dining hall that would provide excellent meals, education for people young and old, and support sustainability and farm-to-table dining. Thanks, this has been David Rosen for another episode of If I Was Mayor. Bon Appetit. <laughs>